I come outside on my way to my car and notice that that's on my roof. I said, okay, we have a problem. 3 a.m. Saturday, Takia Anderson thought someone was breaking into her West Baltimore home. 3 a.m., it just sounded like somebody was breaking in the house. I checked the house, make sure everything was okay. And when I came back up the steps, I checked on my kid to make sure she was okay. Only to find her wet. And she's like, mommy, it's raining on me. Strong storm sent a tree down on her home, causing rainwater to come through the ceiling, soaking her daughter's bedroom. More than 40 hours later, the splintered off tree is still on her row home. Look, it's, it's raining now. Look at that. And the city still didn't do anything. She's been trying to get the city to come out and take care of the tree. Anderson says she's called 311 multiple times and has been told a crew would be out, which hasn't happened. Now, what was originally minor damage has turned into pieces of her home cracking off. That is creating pressure on a home that people have to live in, and it's a domino effect. It'll fall from the top, and then what would we live? Then what's next? She says the city needs to treat incidents like this as emergencies. Do what you say. If you say, hey, somebody will be out, that means that they need to be out. We reached out to the mayor's office. We're told, quote, crews have assessed the situation and it's been determined that due to the size of the tree, a crane is needed to remove it without worsening the current damage. The teams are working as quickly as possible to secure the needed equipment and address the situation. Anderson says tonight she finally received word that a crew will be out to cut down the tree tomorrow. Live in Baltimore, I'm Tommy Clark, WBAL TV 11 News.